Hi friends! In July 2022, we took a short trip in southern Ontario to visit the places we often drive by but never stop. This weekend, we thought we'd stop in a few towns and a few parks down on the shores of Lake Erie. Our first stop was the pretty little town of Paris, located at the junction of the Grand River and the Nith River. Paris was named for the nearby deposits of gypsum used to make plaster of Paris. We headed to Lyons Park, took out our bikes and rode along the Nith River Sensory Trail. It's a cute interactive musical trail that runs for about 300 meters in the park. After that, we connected to the Penman's Pass Trail and rode along the Nith River. We also rode into town, rode along the Grand River, and arrived at Penman's Dam. This dam was built in 1918 by the Penman Clothing Company to power their mills. Today, it's just a pretty place to go for a walk and enjoy the water. Next, we headed to Woodstock, located on the Thames River. It's known as the dairy capital of Canada and it's a market for surrounding agricultural community. We headed down to the riverside by the Pituck Dam to follow a trail or two by bike. After Woodstock, we visited London on the Thames River. 
A British general originally named this city back in 1793, which is how this city and river got its name. We parked the van at Ivy Park in downtown London, took the bikes out and explored the area. The next day, we drove down to Lake Erie and John E. Pierce Provincial Park. We walked through the grounds of the Bacchus Page Museum and learned a little about the history of the first brick home to be built in this area. I guess it's not open. The dinner bell? Mm. You have to go around in a circle. Oh. That's how they ring it. <laughs> we rode our bike through the marsh behind the museum and through the woodlot just down the road. This turned out to be a lovely area and seems to be a hidden gem in southern Ontario. This is the city of St. Thomas, also known as the Railway City. In the early 1900s, it was a major railway hub because it was located right between Detroit, Michigan and Buffalo, New York. This is the historic railway station that was built back then. Also, there is a Jumbo the Elephant monument here. It is here that the famous elephant from the Barnum and Bailey Circus was struck and killed by a train. As a memorial, St. Thomas built this giant statue of Jumbo.
Just 20 minutes south of St. Thomas is the beach town of Port Stanley. There is a long stretch of sandy beach that is very popular destination for the day trippers in this area. The oldest lift bridge in Ontario is in the centre of town. It's the King George VI lift bridge and opens every half hour in the summertime. After Port Stanley, we drove 20 minutes east towards Port Bruce Provincial Park. Basically, this park is just a parking lot across the road from the beach on Lake Erie. It's a popular spot and quite busy, so we moved along to Port Burwell. Port Burwell is known as the Jewel of Erie's North Shore. There are lovely beaches, two marinas, a provincial park, and a naval museum housing the HMCS Ojibwa, a submarine that served Canada during the Cold War. We took this little road trip on the Canada Day long weekend. If we were to do it again, we'd go midweek so that the beaches and the traffic could be a little bit quieter. Thanks for watching!